Hey guys, so I recently got the GoPro Hero 11 and um, obviously I went out and filmed some footage and came back to my computer, loaded on the computer and I couldn't actually watch or play back that footage um, and I couldn't edit that footage in any um, video editing software because the codec that the GoPro Hero 11 uses in the video is too advanced for um, Windows 11 to use. So the GoPro Hero 11 films uh, video using the codec H265 or HEVC um, and the video codec that Windows 11 supports is called H264. So in order to use H265 codec footage on a Windows 11 you have to install a video extension and I looked at a number of different options in terms of free video extensions and paid video extensions and this one that I'm going to show you now was by far the easiest in terms sorry, it was by far the easiest in terms of installing it and get it, getting it working. So I thought I'd just share this with you because it works really well. And um, yeah, it's not, it's not that expensive at all. So just to crop my face down a little bit here, um, obviously I'm not 100% sure how to do this on a Mac, but for Windows, it is pretty simple. So go into your Microsoft store um, and then just in the search bar, go HEVC codec extension for Windows. And you want to look at this ex specific extension over here. So um, HEVC video extension and then just uh, click on that and you should obviously get redirected into a page that looks something like this. Just one thing to note, the reviews are quite bad um, but I think this is all user error as far as I understand all these all these negative reviews. So I was a little bit skeptical, I was a little bit skeptical you know seeing all of these one two star reviews um, but I didn't have a problem so yeah I thought I'd just mention that. So obviously you can see I have installed this inst extension already, but it'll cost, well, I'm in South Africa, it'll, it'll, it costed me 17 Rand, um, and I think it's $1, one US dollar. So really not that expensive. And um, yeah, I just clicked install, paid for it, and then it installed immediately on my computer and I could watch watch these higher codec videos perfectly fine. So just to quickly show you another example of what I mean. So this is obviously DaVinci Resolve. And um, previously, when I added my, my video into DaVinci Resolve, it gave me an error something like this, where the, where the file actually wasn't supported within DaVinci Resolve. And then after installing that codec, um, I didn't have a problem at all. So just drag that media straight in here. Um, and this is obviously, sorry, this media here is obviously using that um, specific codec and, uh, or that specific codec extension. And um, it worked pretty well. So let's just get rid of this. So obviously it is higher quality video, so it, um, it does play back a little bit slower, but it's working perfectly fine. So yeah, hopefully this helps someone else out there and um, we'll see you soon.